We have a variety of ages on the panel. What do you think the average body count is for someone your age? And just so you know, we're not saying this is your body count mm. anyway. Just based on stories you've heard, people you know around you, say your age first and what you would guess the average body count is. I'm 25. I'd guess the average body count average like 16, 17. I'm 21 and I'd say average 12 to 20. 12 to 20? Yeah. For 21? Yeah. Okay. Especially someone not being at uni or whatnot. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I am 33 and I think the average body count is 25, 30. So I'm 23 and I'd say 15 to 20. I'm 55. I was going to say 10. And I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was doubling numbers. I was thinking, well, if it's five for me, it must be 10 for everybody else. So yeah. I would think about 10 or 55. What do you guys think? I'm 26 and I'd say 15 to 20. How many bodies does it take for a girl to become a hoe? I'm going to say 10. 10 by 24. I'm just curious where it's where it switches. So at 30, like how many bodies is she a hoe? Oh, damn. Oh, so if we, 24, 10, hoe. Okay. 30, what is it? 20 to 30. Anything more than like double digits could be considered a hoe. Agreed. Double digits by 20. Okay. If you're hitting double digits, then... I think 5 by... 25. Otherwise, you're going to be a leftover. I think any number that stops a man from wanting you and marrying you is too high. See, it's too high. Right now, men are saying they want virgins. So all these are wrong. This is for you young lads out there who've been shamed into thinking that you shouldn't care about a woman's body count. Since the dawn of time, female promiscuity has always been looked upon negatively. Even before YouTube was a big thing and all these clips were out there for us to react to. Back in the day when I was 18, 19, 20 years old, me and my mates used to talk about different girls we'd be going out with or seeing or going on dates with. And the topic of body count would always always come up. If at any point we found out that the girl who we were dating had a high body count, it'd instantly turn us off. And no one taught us this. No one sat me down and said, Sean, if a girl's got a high body count, that's not attractive. It's just something that's intrinsically built within us as men. We are just not attracted to women who've been with multiple different men. It's now not surprising these days, girls coming out of university at 20, 21 years old, and they've been with 20 or 30 different lads. If anything, it's normalized these days. Wait, let me see the necklace. Oh. <laughs> Oh, boy. Are you uh, are you Christian? I'm Catholic. Yeah, I grew up Catholic. My mom makes me wear a necklace, so I can oh. put it on all the time. Do you still consider yourself to be Catholic? Mm. Hello. Not really. Wow. Okay, so you're 18, and you said you, your body count's around 20. It's 20. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly 20. Do you have like a book? I have like a note app, like in my notes. Yeah. What do you put in there? I put like what we did, how things. Haram! Wow. It's pretty specific, honestly. So, the penis size. Yes. Can you show that cross to the camera again? By the way. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so... You just feel the mood dip in the room. Women can go on about female empowerment all they want. You go, sister. You sleep with as many men as you want. But ultimately, when you've got a girl who's 18 years old and she slept with 20 men, everyone in that room knows that that's some trashy behaviour. It's pretty sad. There might be some people watching this video thinking, Sean, what does it matter how many lads a girl has slept with? It doesn't really matter. But it actually does matter because the higher your body count is as a female, it actually reduces your chances to get into a successful long-term relationship in the future. And then that's when the these women become 40, 50 years old, single, depressed with a bunch of cats. What's sad is this is someone's daughter, and I feel sorry for the father because if I ever came across a clip like this of my daughter speaking this way, saying that she keeps track of all the men she slept with and the dick size and intimate details, it's pretty sad. And someone said in the comments it'd be very heartbreaking as a dad seeing your daughter say this. A lot of women say the body count doesn't matter when they all know it does. So if body count doesn't matter, if it shouldn't matter, what is your body count? I would prefer not to say. I also prefer not to say. Um, just out of respect for my family. <laughs> ah, the, for the family. Who's, who's the gangster who's going to actually come in and share? Go ahead. Yeah, I would rather not say. Obviously, I'm not going to say. Oh One girl starts off the domino effect. Go ahead. Good. I won't say. I'm sorry. I prefer not to say. Even though you guys say body count doesn't matter, your refusal to share it would indicate to me that it matters. 
you you know it matters, and that's why you refuse to share it. Obviously, they're not going to say because it paints them in a bad light. But the problem with these podcast scenarios is usually they all just copy what the first girl said. So if the first girl would have said, I've slept with 10 men, the others would then start divulging how many men they've slept with, even if they were lying. So because the first girl said she doesn't want to share her body count, they all just copy. And that's because women understand the power of status and gossip. We all date, right? And like the fact that I have dated six people at the same time, and you know, maybe one of us has dated six people at different times. What really, what's the difference? You have seen and slept with the same amount of people. The timeline was just so different. the difference is that it sounds like an excuse to get ran through. I, think I mean, that's like a really disgusting term, and I think that <laughs> also, um, that's kind of a really like harsh thing to say to women because you would only say that really to a woman right you wouldn't say that to a dude so i I mean it's a little different but a man could also be sure but like you wouldn't i i wouldn't sit here and say that to you if you told me you were seeing six people i'd be like great good for you what i didn't own is the fact that you called me run through which i think is rude and also the fact that that i didn't was that me It that doesn't even matter. Been, but, the, but either way, you repeated it. And also, the well, fact... Well, it's the truth. Oh, I, I disagree with you. <laughs> oh, th- You're dating six men at the same time. You have been ran through. And at the end of the day, a man who sleeps with loads of women is the pimp. A woman who sleeps with loads of men is... Oh, there is a double standard, and there always will be. There's just no change in it. And that's because it's hard for men to pull women. We have to have our shit in order. We have to be good-looking, tall, in shape, have money, have status, have confidence, charisma, a network of people, and a nice car. Whereas women can just be below average kind of like this girl no hate on it and she can still have six men there waiting for her what type of man do you have to be in order to have six women right there all at your beck and call ready to sleep with you at the drop of a hat as professionals we discussed the infidelity of females and i said that female infidelity is more disgusting than male infidelity and i think that the world agrees with me. history agrees with me the bible agrees with me the quran agrees with me every single book you can read from history says that females who are promiscuous should either be or at least cast out from society. The idea that women can sleep with a bunch of dudes and it doesn't matter is a brand new idea. 30, 40 years old, maybe. Even today, nobody respects it, deep down. When a girl shoots a girl she doesn't like, you know the first thing she does? She says she's a You know why? Because they know deep down that female promiscuity is disgusting, it's revolting. So the whole idea of a female wanting to sleep with more than one man at a time is haram. And they know it inside of their souls, inside of their hearts. I don't think so. As, yes, they do, as does a man. Whereas a man, if he sleeps with a bunch of chicks, doesn't matter, who cares? So would you be with me if I'd slept with over 50 men? (sighs) I'm a high value woman, right? (laughs) You said it yourself. How can you be high value if 50 men have slept with you? What if I've just been single for a long time? No, unacceptable. Why is it unacceptable? A body count is probably the number one most easiest way to judge the value of a female. I actually think okay. that 90, no, 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 I'm going to say this. I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you, you know, know what, there's like a lot And women would be like, to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead. You have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear. All the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't we, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. The reason why I like to talk about this body count stuff is because it matters a lot when it comes to finding a good, suitable partner. I've had mates in the past where they've got into relationships with very subpar looking girls. Fat, out of shape, quite ugly. Then my mates have found out that this girl has slept with 20, 30, 40 men and it messes the relationship up when really you have to just try and avoid this in the first place. Now you can't just meet up with a girl on the first date or message her on Instagram before you even go on a first date and say how many lads have you slept with but there's going to be certain tells and certain signs that she has a high body count like if she likes to party all the time she's out constantly she's got lots of revealing pictures on instagram she's got loads of lads commenting on her instagram she has male friends all these telltale signs point in the direction that she has a high body count now as a lad depending on what you want from life you need to do one of two things either stay single work on yourself and just date on the side only put about 10 percent of your focus into dating maybe even only five percent so still work on your hustle focus on your 
physicality, focus on improving yourself financially, improving yourself mentally and intellectually, and then five to 10% socially and dating wise. Or you put your efforts into bagging a very good traditional soft feminine girl who wants a long term relationship, who's also got a low body count, and then they can be your ride or die and support you through your journey. And I tell you lads, if you want to be successful, a lot of people say that you must stay single, but this isn't true. If you can get yourself a decent girl who's going to support you, it can actually help you become more successful because she can do all the things that takes up your time, like the cooking, like the cleaning, like organizing your life, organizing the household, maybe even doing some of your admin if you've got a business. You can even employ her if you've got a business, which is better for tax purposes. So if you want to be successful in life, don't be afraid of having a long-term relationship. You've got to make sure that it's a good girl who's going to support you along the way and not take from you. And that is one of the most difficult things to do. You've got to remember back in the day, our parents and grandparents used to meet their life partners when they were like 20 years old and then just stay together for their entire lives. So there's some relationship advice for you. I hope it helps. Nice one for the love on the channel recently, boys. If you're new to the channel, thank you very much for tuning in. We're literally just getting started here on the Sean Jones YouTube channel. And here we're all about just being the best man that you can be. Have you ever been in a relationship with a girl with a high body count? If so, let me know down below. How did you get on with it? Did it affect the relationship at all? Nice one, boys. I'll see you tomorrow.